वेलकम टू सीज द मेन्स बाय राज मल्होत्राज आई एस अकेडमी आई एम सुरभि सरदाना एंड दिस इज सीजन थ्री ऑफ आर डेली आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव दिस इनिशिएटिव इज रनिंग इन कोऑर्डिनेशन विद आर वेबसाइट राज आई एस अकेडमी डॉट कॉम बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी यू नो टेल दैट यू अगेन दैट वी आर रनिंग इग्नाइटेड करंट अफेयर्स टू पॉइंट जीरो दिस इज द सेकेंड वर्जन ऑफ इग्नाइटेड करंट अफेयर्स डू जॉइन दिस इनिशिएटिव एज यू नो आर सब्जेक्ट एक्सपर्ट मिस्टर राहुल सिंगला इज कवरिंग ऑल द करंट अफेयर्स ऑन अ डेली बेसिस फ्रॉम from all the newspapers which are important for your prelims mains and interview indian express the hindu pib all ministries all updates everything covered not only this whatever magazines are important for your exam the uh, down to earth magazine business line magazine yojana kurukshetra everything is being assimilated and given to you all in ready made format and the course is just for uh, for in house students it is for 499 rupees per month and for if you are a student who has never registered with our academy then the course is at uh, rupees 999 per month for you uh this is going to be of immense benefit to you uh we are definitely sure as our team has put a lot of effort behind this course so definitely join it as early as possible you are again in the examination cycle for the race for prelims mains and interview is again on so this will put you ahead of many of the other aspirants in the race also uh talking about the website rajisacademy.com is our website on our website we have allotted this section of mains answer writing specifically to seize the mains which we carry out from monday to saturday on our youtube channel what we do is that, uh, that we discuss one question from current affairs we put that in front of you and we discuss a uh, content regarding that we discuss how to write an answer or a good answer with regards to that After this, after watching this video, you can click on the link in the description to rajayesacademy.com. Go to the mains answer writing section. Today's question and answer both they have been uploaded on the website. In the comment section under the question, post your answers to us. Uh, whatever you are writing, whatever you are practicing on a daily basis, post answers to that question in the comment section below. And our team will evaluate your answers in the next few days. and will respond back with their feedback so a lot of students have seen immense improvement with us by joining this initiative if you are somebody who is you know willing to take the first step to improve their skills in answer writing then definitely join this definitely start posting your answers let's see what is the question for today the topic would remain vasinar arrangement vasinar agreement vasinar arrangement See the question is very simple earlier India was not even a member of this arrangement or this agreement uh, till 2017 now we have assumed the chairship or chairmanship of vasinar arrangement starting from january 1 2023 so what is the significance of uh, this arrangement also what you can expect in your mains is the importance or the features of this particular arrangement so we'll be broadly covering all the aspects but the question is put some light on the significance of india's assuming chairmanship of vasinar arrangement answer in 150 words so what you can do is uh, what specific significance does it hold for india if uh, you become a member of vasinar arrangement one of the very very popular newspapers covered the significance part as a specific article separately we have given to, uh, the link to that newspaper in the model answer on our website itself so definitely check out that article also coming to this question let's read it again put some light on the significance of india's assuming chairmanship of vasinar arrangement answer in 150 words bahut hi chhota sa answer hai and the significance uh, it is uh, something that we are addressing with respect to india so first of all since uh, you know this is something again a very fa fancy term bahut zyada you know news mein rehne wala arrangement ya agreement nahi hai what we'll do is again we'll write two three lines of our introduction two three lines introduction mein hum vasinar arrangement ke bare mein batayenge after that in the body paragraph we'll talk about what can change change being india as the chairman agar india chairman ban raha hai to kya cheez change ho sakti hai not just for india but for the global community as a whole for the entire globe entire world as a whole nowhere in the question it is mentioned that you have to write it in perspective of india only with respect to india only so yes uh, write it in a general format a little tilt towards india is required obviously because you are writing the indian civil services exam but uh, talk about the global perspective also keep in mind the word limit 150 words is your word limit what you can do is i see a lot of answers who use a 
flow chart approach for example they talk about the significance here and they use flow charts to write the body paragraph and until unless your you know till the time your flow charts are very clear if it is very legible for the examiner it is a treat to read answers which have been written in such a way but yes do not flow uh, do not uh, break the flow of the language whatever approach you are using make sure that you uh, you know use the space of your answer sheet very properly the uh, answer should not look like that you are running short of space or you are running short of time presentation is very important when it comes to getting more marks and mains so let's move on uh, let's see in the introduction what are we writing first of all talk about what vasinar arrangement is about what does it do and how does it do that this will frame three lines and uh, after that we'll talk about the chairmanship of india and its significance so vasinar arrangement is a multilateral export control regime see there are at least four multilateral export control regime your uh, you know mtcr um missile technology control regime nuclear non suppliers group nsg all of them are part of it and vasina arrangement australia arrangement vasina arrangement is part of these four multilateral export control regimes and this is an export control regime of 42 countries that seeks to advance security and stability in the sale and transfer of materials and technologies that can be used to make nuclear and conventional weapons basically dual use technologies ac technologies jinka agar export ho gaya ya kisi dusri country mein transfer ho gaya to us technology ko weapons ya con, uh, that technology can be used to make either nuclear or conventional weapons so that is what uh, vasinar arrangement controls all these 42 countries control the advanced security and stability in the sale and transfer of these dual use technologies the group works how does it do that now the what part has been answered you can talk about history also how it was formed in the aftermath of what what was the reason for having this arrangement if you um, are willing you can uh, start your answer uh, by writing about that also here we are starting by talking about its significance or what does it a uh, group uh, what does the group do so the group works by regularly exchanging information in respect of technology both conventional and nuclear capable that is sold to or denied to countries outside the grouping so that is uh, you know that is a sort of information exchange that happens between the entire amongst the entire group members that's how it is work uh, that's how it works this is done through maintenance and updating of detailed list of chemicals technologies all the things basically which can be used uh, which can be used to generate or make weapons chemicals technologies processes and products that are considered militarily significant so entire checklist is maintained and that is updated also so what does it do how does it do yes there is a third line that you can add about the historical aspect of it when was it formed what was the what were the situations when it was formed and what was the idea so that can serve as your third line but again don't uh, you know extend your introduction to a very long passage in the linkage point we'll write down that india became a member of this grouping in 2017 so this is again a new fact that you're telling the examiner you're using the few words that you have to give additional information which is relevant that uh, you know just in 2017 we became the member and now we have assumed chairmanship and assume the chair, uh, and now has and has now assumed the chairmanship this has the following significance see anything when it comes to weapons what we want to do is that terrorist and terrorist organization should not have access to any kind of weapons because india has seen a lot of terrorist attacks we've seen a lot of violence and we do not want that to happen again to not just our country but anywhere in the world so it can um, if india has the chairmanship obviously you can have more debates and discussions about anti terrorism about you know availability of these kind of weapons to terrorists how to stop it how to you know uh, curtail it so more conversations can be held because india will be the uh, chair so more uh, conversations can be steered towards that so india would be in a position to steer discussions of the group to further strengthen the export controls to prevent arms diversion to terrorist or to sovereign nations supporting terrorism so arms diversion to terrorist that can be stopped or to sovereign nations supporting terrorism uh uh nations ke liye bhi uh, any nation who is supporting terrorism that uh, arms diversion to them also can be stopped the timing of india's 
डब्ल्यू ए चेयरमैनशिप और वासीनार अरेंजमेंट चेयरमैनशिप चेयरमैनशिप को इन साइड्स विद रीसेंट इंक्रीज इन कंट्रीज एंटी टेररिज्म पोजिशन इन इंटरनेशनल बॉडीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अनादर इंटरनेशनल बॉडी नो मनी फॉर टेररिज्म एन एम एफ टी एंड रिसेंटली इंडियाज होम मिनिस्टर हैज बिकम द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ दिस एन एम एफ टी मिनिस्टेरियल इनिशियटिव सो येस यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दिस एंटी टेररिज्म द सेकेंड वन वुड बी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंटी प्रोरिफरेशन फ्रेमवर्क दैट यू कैन वर्क अगेंस्ट इंडिया कैन वर्क वर्क अगेंस्ट एंटी प्रोलीफरेशन फ्रेमवर्क एट द ग्लोबल लेवल एंड कैन स्ट्रेंथ it so strengthening the licensing and enforcement practices that's how it can be done under the vasinar arrangement and or option of new controlled rules controls in areas like flight technology interception technology digital investigation tools it will pave the way for creation of a strong anti proliferation framework for south asia see what is happening in the past also these arrangements were there there are four um, एम ई सी आर्स एज ऑफ नाउ चार एम ई सी आर्स हैं बट स्टिल देर आर मेनी कंट्रीज विच आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ दीज एम ई सी आर्स बट दिस स्टिल हैव वेपन दे हैव न्यूक्लियर वेपन ऑल्सो दे हैव अदर कन्वेंशनल वेपन ऑल्सो एंड दे यूज इट फॉर वायलेंट पर्पजेस सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज दैट सच अरेंजमेंट्स विच आर एक्चुअली इन फॉर्मल अग्रीमेंट्स दे नीड टू बी स्ट्रेंथ लाइसेंसिंग पॉलिसीज नीड टू बी स्ट्रेंथ एंड द curtailing power of the group on the group members that has to be strengthened only then we can control the transfer of arms so strengthening licensing and enforcement practices under uh, vasinar arrangement and adoption of new export controls in areas like flight technology interception technology and digital investigation tools will pave the way for creation of a strong anti proliferation framework for south asia in particular so you're talking about the entire region the third one and the most important one here is if you have been following current affairs for the past 2 3 months or uh, past 2 months especially india has seen a boom of private agencies in space sector we see uh, we saw rocket engine being developed through 3d printing we have seen two startups which have successfully demonstrated their capabilities with the help of isro in space sector and in the defense technologies also india is on the way on the path of developing its own hypersonic missile also we are developing the latest uh, Uh, latest technologies in agni that can be developed we have taken uh, we've taken from russia uh, the anti ballistic system from russia has been taken s400 so now what you can do is since india had a lot of problems importing or you know getting access to key technologies like the cryogenic technology let's say so these technologies these are important having access to the outer space that is important having a uh, uh, having a good space program that is important or even if not a space program having access to rocket launchers that is important so now since india will become the chairman india can pave the way for democratization of space and defense technologies the route for accessing these technologies for those countries who do not have it already that can become easier and india can you know set an example because for us as a country for india as a country this has been tough developing space technologies having own defense technologies this route has been tough but we can democratize it for other markets for other countries so it is also significant in the long run considering the recent spurt in investment and activity in the local defense and space sectors we are also coming up with the uh, with the two defense corridors so yes more uh, more investment would be seen in this area itself india can play a significant role in democratizing access to technologies and processes that can serve as crucial building blocks for the newly emerging defense and space manufacturing sectors in india so it can help indian market also on the other hand it will uh, give access to those countries which do not have these technologies more easily so india is slowly emerging as a low cost low cost producer of several uh, items in the vasinar arrangements control list so yes uh, India had to buy key technologies at a very high rate from other countries now other countries do not have to do it the smaller countries do not have to do it because now they will be indigenously produced in india and exported at a very low rate to these countries so yes um this divide due to the technologies that uh, due to the latest technology that we had seen in the world in the past 50 years that can end uh, and that holds a great importance here with uh, with india assuming the chairmanship of basinar arrangement in the conclusion see we are already close to 150 words write just one to two lines not more than that and conclude your answer that at the helm of the plenary india's chairmanship would go a long way in establishing the 
credibility of the country as a responsible stakeholder in the global non-proliferation architecture. Few months back we talked about the non-proliferation treaty, we also talked about the nuclear non-supplies group and even after presence of nuclear non-proliferation treaty, the number of nuclear weapons has gone up, number of conventional weapons has also gone up after World War II. So yes, uh, India playing all these roles, it will send a great message that, that because India is in the favor, favor of global non-proliferation uh, global, global non-proliferation of weapons or global non-proliferation architecture. So that's about it. This is the entire answer for today. It has been uploaded on our website with the link from where we took the content from. Do check out that link. Do read that newspaper article. It is available for free online and try to write your own answer. If you have already completed GS course from somewhere or if you have studied international relations and security in science and tech without a coaching on your own, definitely add your own points to this answer. You will be marked very highly with any kind of creativity that you project in the answers you send to us. So yes, keep writing. All the best. I'll see you with another discussion tomorrow at 9 p.m.